right, so I think it was about uh, 2017 that uh, I put uh, some LED lighting in the uh, trailer that we occasionally use. So when I installed these lights, uh, I set up a switch in there and it would draw uh, power from the cargo van battery. And I'm going to change that and switch over to using uh, something that's local uh, within the trailer. And uh, I'm doing this because I don't like to utilize electricity in the van without the van running. I just feel more confident that there's not going to be a problem here as long as the van is running. But sometimes on loadout, uh, it can, loadout can take sometimes two or three hours at night. And I didn't want to leave the van running for two or three hours just for electricity. So I'm going to try this as a, a possible solution to powering the LED lights uh, separate from the cargo van battery. All right, so I did look at a few different ways of doing this, and I do have a tendency to over-engineer a uh, solution, and I'm trying to avoid that. Uh, I originally looked at using uh, some of this angle, I mean, you can call it an angle iron, uh, but this is, um, it's steel, uh, this is way too much to support a, uh, it was about a four pound battery. So then um, I looked at uh, using something like this, actually a couple of these. So then I was looking at just doing something as simple as this uh, to hold like a small shelf on there, but this is not gonna work either. And so um, I think uh, I'm just gonna do a really very, very minimal shelf to put this on. Exactness and things being perfect, uh, it's not going to matter with this. This is just something that's going to be in the trailer. And nobody's going to know about it and see it, except for those watching this video. Alright, so taking the switch out, I've got the battery up here, and what we're going to do is uh, just test touching the leads. Uh, these down here come from the, uh, from the seven way connector on the trailer. Uh, so the ones we're interested in are right up here. So we're going to touch uh, the positive, all right, and we're going to touch the negative. All right, lights are on. All right, looks like this may work. All right, uh, got to find a place to put the battery now. All right, and uh, for those of you that may have a trailer, single or a double axle trailer, I would uh, highly recommend that uh, you put a mark on the wall that tells you where the axles are. So in this, uh, the white mark that indicates the rear axle, the other white mark indicates the, uh, where the front axle is. Uh, not where the tire starts or stops, but where the axle resides. So this gives you a good idea of where you can stand and move around without the trailer uh, tilting because you don't want to be standing at the back of the trailer with no weight 
at the front of it because if you stand back there it's a good chance that the front of the trailer would just pop right on up. So there's where the switch is going to be and uh, I'm actually going to put the battery right over here uh, up in this area. Uh, there's hardly ever anything that is packed in here that would be this close to the door. And as long as I can keep uh, the battery up high enough, it's basically out of the way. Uh, we don't really pack stuff all the way to the top in here. So the plan is to have something like, a, if you will, like a, a sacrificial wall right here. And then this is going to be extremely basic. I mean, there's a lot of ways to do this. There really is. But uh, I'm just going to pick... I'm not going to say the easiest, but I just want something here that's going to work. So what's going to happen here, I'm just going to have this ledge sitting right here. And on this ledge, I'm just going to show this to you here. Uh, wait a minute. So on this ledge, the battery is going to sit on top of it. There's going to be another piece of wood underneath there to help support it. So. Once it's sitting up there, I'm going to have a couple of these straps. These straps are going to attach to the wood and they're going to wrap around the battery. For those of you that may think, hey, you know, with the vibration of the trailer being pulled around, the battery could fall out or, hey, you know, what if you get hit and the battery comes out? If it's to that point where the battery will come out if I'm hit, I, I guarantee you I'm probably going to have a lot bigger problems. Uh, than to worry about a battery falling off of a shelf. Alright, there's a, there's a wall joist. It's going right up on the left hand side. You can see where the, they've got the um, screws going into it here. So the support screws for this little uh, piece of wood are just to the right of where that uh, support beam is. Alright, I have uh, started these screws just to make it a little bit easier, hopefully, to uh, get this uh, block of wood in. Got a little bit too tight on this other side over there. Sort of split the wood, but that's fine. There won't be any uh, structural issues with it. That should be more than enough for a four-pound battery. So it's going to sit up here like this. I got to work on the straps to come around it. I'm going to make a, another strap for the bottom, the bottom part of it. Uh, I think this will probably uh, hold, but I also need to probably put another screw on the strap in the back, uh, sort of help stabilize it. Um, 
It's not going to go anywhere, but I don't like it moving around quite that much. As I said, there's probably maybe better ways to do this, and maybe if I was providing something like this as a service to somebody, I'd be doing a lot different. But uh, I think for in here, for what it is, it's going to work out perfect. Alright, that's uh, actually on there pretty good. Uh, quite a bit more uh, screws to hold those, you know, pretty much the Velcro in place, but I guess that's okay. Um, I know that they make uh, the Velcro that's got the, um, the loop on the other side, like at the end of the Velcro, which is why you see a turn uh, in here. Uh, that's just so it, it can loop back and then it can attach to itself on their side. But um, all right, there's a little better picture there of the um, half turns I've got in there just to um, so the Velcro can re reattach to itself. So the battery probably weighs maybe four or five pounds, something like that. And really, we should not need to get to this stuff unless we're going to change out a battery or maybe charge it or something like that. All right, I'm going to try to use these, um, these other... Uh, uh, power cords for some of uh, the some older equipment that we no longer have. All right, just a little quick rough uh, measurement. I'm going to um, start it here. As we progress and get into it, then I could just trim it down as needed. And let's see the jacketing here. work on the uh, other end. Okay, this is going into the uh, to the switch box. It, so I just need to make the connection on the batteries. Pardon me, on uh, the battery. Oh, I've got some backwards. All right, let's try that. There we go. All right, I think that's going to work. Um, so I said uh, I've always wanted um, the lighting in here to be independent of the uh, cargo van. Um, so I think this is going to work out. It's a um, it's a 12 volt. This is a, the U.S. designations. It's a 12 volt uh, seven amp 
uh, 7 amp per hour battery. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to be okay long enough to maybe work uh, a couple hours, maybe two or three hours while we're uh, breaking down at night. So I don't have to keep the van running uh, to keep this lit. So, but if I measured this correctly, it should give us just enough. I don't, I don't like a, a lot of cabling and stuff laying around. Now one strap uh, could easily hold this on here, but um, just in case something happens, one of the straps gets loose. I don't, I don't know how that would happen, but you never know. And then technically, this should actually set up here with the rest of the wiring. Yeah, part of what I'll come back and do is um, I've got some, um, there are like uh, wire clamps that's got one side's got a hole where the screw goes and it's got a C shape and then it, it clamps over the uh, wire and holds it in place. I'll have to install those. All right. Not too bad uh, with the wiring. It can stay hidden and then uh, where it comes down over here. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably attach it up here and then once I get this sitting here, I'll do another attachment here just to make sure nothing moves. But um, you know, the length of the wiring was pretty much right about where it should have been. Hopefully this is uh, one thing off my uh, checklist of things to do. Thanks for watching. Hope you're still awake. <laughs>